Next up, we have our Pro and Master Rock Shifter. Pro and Master Rock Shifter. This class is brought to you by Alternative Wellness Products. Our shifters run 20 laps for their main events. And your pole sitter in the pro class is going to be Brian Keck. Off pole is Aiden O'Neill. Row two, Connor Van Sieve. And then our master rock shifters, your pole sitter, Thomas Permentier, Patrick O'Neill. Row two, Todd Van Cleve, and Michael Avancino. Actually, Michael Avancino is a pro driver, so keep an eye on card number 424. He was penalized in race number two, for sending Patrick O'Neill. Part of the to the camera on Patrick O'Neill. Our driver's get a green flag going down into turn one. Looks like Brian Keck has the whole shot. And Aiden O'Neill goes to the inside of Keck. So it's Aiden and Keck battling it out, going into Kramer. So Avancino is going to come along. Patrick O'Neill here going into tic-tac-toe. But currently in the front, you have Brian Keck as your race leader. Aiden O'Neill running in second. So keep an eye on the carts behind the leaders here because those were the two carts that had contact earlier in the day. They're actually racing in different classes. Patrick O'Neill is a master's driver. Avancino is a pro driver. But back in the front, we have Brian Keck as your race leader. We have Aiden O'Neill, Patrick O'Neill's son, running in second. So we're going right here. We have the. Does Avancino make the pass? Avancino gets by. There's no issue there. Let's see if Patty O'Neill tries to counter. Because at heart, Patrick O'Neill is just a racer. Avancino is being stalked by Patty O'Neill, picking up our race leaders. Keck has a little bit of a lead over second place, Aiden O'Neill. Aiden missed the first round of Rock Sonoma, or first two rounds due to schooling, but now he's off and on break. He's rejoined the series. And he's currently running in second. On that last lap, Michael Avancino running in third goes purple. So we will see if he's gonna close that gap on Aiden O'Neill. So back on track, we're following our race leader, Brian Keck, on the GFC chassis. Second place, we have Aiden O'Neill running on the CRG product. 
If you're wondering why they're both black bodywork for both drivers is to save weight. Normally the GFC carts have a black and white scheme where the CRG has a black and orange. Brian Keck has a comfortable lead right now. So we're gonna keep an eye on the lap times between Keck, O'Neill, and Avancino. Avancino goes purple on that last lap. He is nine tenths of a second behind Aiden O'Neill. So that is the lap times we are gonna look at. We're gonna look at that difference between Avancino in third and Aiden O'Neill in second. And if you're getting a little confused by the O'Neills and the different names, Aiden O'Neill is the pro driver in this class. His father, Patrick O'Neill, is a master's driver. They're on the track at the same time. Oh, no way. Oh, what happened back there? I'm not sure what happened to Brian Keck. I have a blind spot from the tower. He did not come up the hill, but he is now in third. So Aiden O'Neill is your race winner, a race leader. Avancino is now in second. Keck is in third. I can only think maybe he's plagued with a shifting problem. But he went from the lead to third. So we'll keep an eye on Brian Keck to see if he has to nurse this thing to the finish line. And looking at the points, let's see how this is gonna move things around. Coming into the OS event, Brian Keck was your points leader. Tazio Otis was in second, who is not here. Michael Avancino is your third in points. So this is gonna be a critical points race for Avancino and Keck. And Avancino is on the rear bumper of Aiden O'Neill as they go down the straightaway. Let's see if Michael Avancino has enough to make the pass. Both drivers go to the inside. Looks like Avancino's going to go to the inside going into Monaco. He tries to, but O'Neill goes a little bit tight, doesn't leave room for Avancino. So Avancino is on the rear bumper of Aiden O'Neill. We'll see who has a good run coming out of tic-tac-toe coming up the hill. Avancino is right on the rear bumper of O'Neill, goes to the inside, entering the straightaway. It's gonna be a drag race down the straightaway. <coughs> oh, O'Neill makes it back by. Oh, and Avancino has a nice move over the curb on the exit of Kramer. He is trying everything to get around Aiden O'Neill. So it's safe to say Avancino is the fast cart on the track right now. He just needs to make a solid pass. <coughs> and again, he's getting very aggressive coming on the straightaway, which is ruining his straight speed.
This is Avancino's rookie year as a shifter pilot. He has thousands of laps here at Sonoma in the Rotax ranks, in the different clag, uh, tag packages here at Rock Sonoma. This year he stepped up to the pro shifter class. And in every race he showed good speed. <coughs> Aiden O'Neill's cart is getting pretty wide. But Aiden gets on the straightaway a lot better than Avancino and is able to maintain that lead. Does he try going into Monaco? They go side by side. Avancino goes low. He's going to need to shut the door so O'Neill doesn't come back. They enter into Kramer. Avancino looks over his shoulder. Aiden thought about countering going into the S's. But let's see how well Avancino comes out of tic-tac-toe. He has a good run coming up the hill. Going down the straightaway, Avancino was finally able to put a gap in there. Up oh, here comes O'Neill, he gave it a look going into Kramer. Decided not to throw his nose in there, but he gave it the look. So these two drivers are pacing each other. Avancino seems to be better coming out of tic-tac-toe. O'Neill looks really good in the infield section between Monaco and Kramer. Horsepower-wise down the straightaway, there's no there's no clear advantage on horsepower going on the straightaway. We have a heck of a tailwind here at Rock Sonoma for the main event in the Rock Shifter class. Oh! So Avin seen it, he's just getting too aggressive for his own good. He overshot Kramer. That put O'Neill right back on his rear bumper. Up until that moment, he had a two-cart gap, and then he overshot Kramer. <clears throat> Let's see, now he has about a two-and-a-half-cart lead over O'Neill. We will keep an eye to see if Avancino can hold this gap or pull out a little bit more. We're gonna, on the next time round, we will have four laps to go, four laps to go on the next time around. Now it looks like Avancino is able to maintain about a four cart lead over Aiden O'Neill, which is about a 1.1 second gap. But keep an eye on Brian Keck, who is running in third. Last pass by, he was 1.7 seconds behind Aiden O'Neill, but it looks visually like he's closing the gap on track. When they come around, they will have three laps to go. So 1.7 between O'Neill and Keck. That gap is now 1.1 seconds. Keck just went 
six tenths faster on that last pass. He has three laps to go. Catching O'Neill is one thing, getting him around, uh, getting around him is going to be another. But let's keep an eye on Brian Kett, cart number 481. I have to suspect earlier in the race he had some sort of a shifting issue. Here comes Avancino through the tic-tac-toe section. In the background, we're gonna have Aiden O'Neill. We're gonna have Aiden O'Neill and Brian Keck. Keck is now only four tenths off the rear bumper of Aiden O'Neill. They're gonna have two laps to go. Is there enough momentum for Brian Keck to get around Aiden O'Neill? He is right there. Does Keck look to the inside going into Laguna? No, the door was not open. Going into tic-tac-toe, let's see what Keck does. Keck goes wide, O'Neill goes narrow, they're coming up the hill. They're gonna come around for the white flag. Avancino's gonna take the white flag, but we're watching the battle for second between Aiden O'Neill and Brian Keck. O'Neill is looking at it over his shoulder as they go into turn one. They're gonna come down the hill. O'Neill's going tight, Keck goes wide. Does Keck go over the curb going into Kramer? No, O'Neill's driving a very, very tight line. It's gonna hurt his momentum. Keck is gonna go really wide going into tic-tac-toe. Let's see if he has an opportunity exiting tic-tac-toe. No. Keck is definitely having some issue coming out of the hole in tic-tac-toe. The win is going to go to Michael Avancino. O'Neill is going to take second. Third is going to be Brian Keck. Your Masters Rock winner is going to be Patrick O'Neill, followed by Thomas Parmentier, Todd Van Cleve, and rounding out your top four in Pro Shifter is Connor Van Cleve. And then we will be right back from a break. The next class out will be Senior VLR.